Hi everyone, Brian Gundy from For Goodness Snakes. Uh, you know guys, I thought I'd, um, rather than to share the snakes per se, uh, the things that are happening in the breeding projects and all that process, I thought I would sh kind of key in on one important aspect in my opinion. What do you do after the female lays her clutch? So this is what I do. And I'm sure there's a lot of other methods, but I know that a lot of you struggle with this because either you're not asking or people aren't um, sharing that information with you. So uh, this is what I do. All right, so after the female has dropped her clutch, I take her, this is the female uh, Belle Pastel that just dropped 12 eggs. And as you can see, she is hugging, in a sense, hugging this tub. In her mind, instinctively, she smells or tastes those eggs. And she's acting and reacting like she would, sort of, um, sort of on a, on a lower level, but she kind of thinks that there's eggs in there. So basically what I do is I remove the female. There are no eggs here. She laid 12 of them earlier today. Just gently remove her. If she doesn't strike at you at the beginning, then don't worry, she probably won't. So just remove her from her tub. Take her over to the sink. In this case, I have a basin, wash basin, in my snake room. And if you, any of you are thinking about designing a snake room, this is a must. This is a must to have a wash basin in your snake room. Okay, then I basically wash the snake, wash soap and water. I actually use, let's see, can this, oh yeah, see, Zep Heavy Duty um, Hand Cleaner. That's what I use on them. It has a sort of an orange uh, taste to it. And anyway, I scrub up the snake a couple times, not, you know, maybe spend a minute scrubbing down the snake or less, and then rinse it really well, starting from the top and basically letting the water just drain down the body of the snake and just really drench it. You know, do that a couple times and you think you, where you think you've rinsed off, off the snake well enough. Then, rather than, to, and then basically this is another interesting thing. What I do is I take the snake's head and tail when the snake is soaking wet, and I basically kind of whip the ta whip the body of the snake like this. I don't let the snake's head drop and feel the full centrifugal force. I want to basically maintain the head. Remember, all the water is basically going down here, and I just kind of shake it. And then I take the snake. I don't put it in the tub that it was in when it laid its eggs, and I don't put it in the same position. I will now actually take that snake that was in here, and I'm going to go ahead and put her back in for now, because I'm not sure where I'm going to put her. Um, but she'll go somewhere else. Rather than to put her back in, a, in the same tub, I'll switch positions with somebody else. And this will allow the snake to sort of get away from that mentality that she's around her eggs and back on food ASAP. I don't know if you notice that snake looked pretty skinny. Well, she just dropped 12 eggs and, um, you know, and she hasn't eaten for about a month and a half or whatever. So, yeah, she went from about 3,000 grams down to probably 1,500 right here. Um, so, anyway, I will put her in a different tub and, um, and then wash this out really well and then do a switch with some other female. And that will improve the, the chances of you getting a better, uh, quicker feeding response from your, uh, your adult females that have just laid their clutch. All right, I hope that all makes sense to you guys. And if it doesn't, then contact me. You probably know how. Um, I'll include my email address and phone number on, the, um, on this video. All right, everyone, you guys have fun. This is Brian Gundy. Take care.